Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for this week, I would like to unbox this uh, Barbie convertible car. So this is a knockoff version of the Barbie convertible car. So uh, I'm gonna use this as a, a, an accessory for my figure photography. So Let's go ahead and unbox this one. So this came from China. And I wanna I don't wanna get the Barbie one because uh, it is uh, the Barbie pink one is full of glitters. The car has too many glitters, and I just want a plain looking one. So, as you can see, that's plain. So here's the box and it says a Bella Glam Auto Convertible Car. So this is a, definitely a Barbie doll knockoff and as I've said the Barbie doll one has the, some glitters on the whole car and I just want the plane. So here's the top of the box. Bella Glam Auto seats too. And that's the side, the product shot of the car. Here's the other side, Bella. Clearly, a Barbie doll knockoff. So I just grabbed this one because I couldn't get the four seater one, it was not available in. Uh, locally and I want a car that is uh, doesn't have any roof and I can put my figure there directly without having to squeeze it inside the car so this is the bottom of the box and let's just grab this open uh, this package comes with the uh, extra accessories and Barbie doll dress and I got this for uh, 1,000 Philippine peso or around like 20 US dollar so it's not a bad deal you get for 20 bucks you get dress you get accessories and the car so like this one, a uh, bag, backpack, and luggage. And here are the dress, which I can use uh, for my other figures. And we've got some um, is this camera hat bag uh, water container and a umbrella and here's some uh, what to call this shampoo toothpaste toothbrush Probably conditioner, baby soap, baby soap, yeah. soap holder, and toothbrush, and the cup. Yeah, so 
we really get a lot of uh, so here's the car maybe how do you uh, you twist this one I think yeah there there you go and there that's some nice background there and here is our car not bad Bella I did, it's just plain pink so it's good no damage on the acrylic windshield so that's good the wiper is sculpted there along with the windshield the front lights headlights are stickers the bumper grill is a sticker as well with the Bella like license plate stickers at the rear lights and the yeah, Bella glam auto on the for the license plate it's not bad and this one has a seat belt color of the seats are white but the model that i choose was supposed to be black so this is the only one available i guess the steering wheel can turn there's some nice details there as well so there's bell bella on the uh, middle of the steering wheel some like gps here or monitor and some uh, additional dials there the mirrors side mirrors are with stickers as well so there's enough leg room there for uh, uh, your figure so this is for Barbie doll but I want this for my other figure so let's see the dimension it's 1 feet or 12 inches length or 30.5 centimeter it's foot long so for the width it is around seven inches i guess or no 6.75 inches or 17 centimeters <coughs> excuse me and for the height is Sorry about that. A little dusty here. Five inches in height up to the tip of the uh, acrylic. So let's try to put some figures there. This is the bottom. Bottom is, is plain. The wheels are not rubber but plastic along with the mugs. They are solid plastic, hollow on the other side, the inside. But it is what it is for a $20 car and you get these accessories. It's not bad. The car probably is like 800 pesos or around uh, um, 18 dollars $18 probably more or less 
or 17 uh, ano no maybe around uh, 15 to 16 dollar yeah sorry about my conversion so let's try it with uh, this is uh, Kion Figma so looks it looks uh, big on him yeah look uh, it's alright yeah, look at the height of the seat just enough for him to sit on it yeah but he cannot reach the steering wheel so but for the uh, yeah it's just alright I guess and his head doesn't uh, stick out or go overhead the windshield there so Kion is around like 6 inches he's very tall for a figma yeah, close to 6 15 centimeter or 5.75 inches so we've got uh, oops sorry we've got a uh, Mayfix here uh, John Wick let's see Yeah, looks alright. We can grab the steering wheel, but yeah, it's too still short. He can lean on the. I guess you can just pose him like leaning, but. If he grabs the steering wheel, it's too far from his seat, so the seat has to be adjusted. So that's our Mayfix John Wick. So we've got the uh, Marvel Legends Professor X here. Patrick Stewart uh, version this is from the Magneto and Professor X2 pack yeah, that's good and he almost can reach the steering wheel almost but not quite enough So, maybe this is good for a 110 figure or like NECA. So, I have here a Lloyd Forger and he stands around like six and a half. So, this will probably be good because... This is unusual for an SH Figure Arts. There. Looks looks good. Close to. He can almost reach it. Yeah. But still not quite enough. And this is the tallest from among the Japanese imports. So, still not. So, let's try NECA now, our last. So, here is Ellie. Ellie is uh, 
six and a half. Mm. She's too just like Lloyd, so we'll just sit here. This is from the Last of Us two pack. So we'll just place a uh, Joel on the driver's seat. So here's Joel. So seven inches, I guess. Yeah. So Oh, there you go. Looks good on Joel. And we can almost reach the... Yeah. This figure is good for NECA. 7-inch or probably the McFarlane ones. Yeah. Can almost reach the steering wheel. So this, yeah, let just, and yeah, there you go. So we'll just let him like use the, holding the uh, lever there, shift gear shift so what do you guys think yeah i guess this is good for one ten scale or seven inch figures like this neka last of us figures and uh mcfarland toys which are seven inches as well so, there you go guys, I hope you find this uh, useful when you're trying to get a, trying to purchase a vehicle that is cheap, uh, yeah, for 20 bucks, that's not bad, and maybe if you have time just Spray paint this with another color. Hmm. Not bad. So, thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope to see you on my next unboxing. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, bye for now and have a nice day. Ciao!